proud to, uh, to, to present uh, on our stage tonight uh, my good friend and a wonderful, fabulous accountant that's kept me out of jail for at least 10 years now. Please welcome to the stage Mr. Robert M. Kaplan. CPA. <laughs> Have here the Bob and Bob show, and why do these guys that are over 60 years old have hair and I don't? <laughs> well, people come up to me all the time and they say, Bob, all you ever talk about is accounting. Don't you have any other interest in the entire world? I do, I do. I have a wonderful wife there and four beautiful, intelligent daughters, and their names are daughter number one, number two, <laughs> number three, and number four. I like to party and have a good time. I can shake my booty. Yeah, I'm sort of a party guy. I like to tell a good joke, like, uh, what's an accountant's pickup line? Hey, baby, why don't you come to my office and I'll demonstrate double entry. Bookkeeping. I like to travel. I'm a fun guy. Last weekend, my wife and I went to Esalen. Anybody ever been to Esalen in Big Sur? Gorgeous place, right on the ocean. Wonderful massages, uh, workshops. But what I particularly like are the baths. There. <laughs> That's number one daughter. <laughs> Let's get back to the baths. The baths are clothing optional, they're co ed, but most of the people are naked. But you gotta be cool. You can't go, oh my god, look at that. You can't do that. So this is me in a bath when a beautiful woman comes in. Hi, nice hat. My name is Bob and I'm a tax accountant. I'm on extension. As I said, I like to travel. My wife and I travel. Last year we went on a big trip to Japan. This year is a biggie. We're cashing in all our frequent flyer miles, all our reward points, Hilton reward points, and 96 days, I can't wait. You're going to be jealous. We're going to Columbus, Ohio, home of the CPA Hall of Fame. Wow. At the campus of Ohio State, by the way. I can't wait to be in those hallowed halls and see those pictures of those famous accounts up on the wall. I'm getting teary-eyed just thinking about that. But you know, several of those pictures have been removed. Like there's Maurice Stans. He was Nixon's campaign treasurer. And he got kicked out of the Hall of Fame for making money laundering into an art form. And then there's Bruno Three Finger Bernstein. <laughs> He was the fastest guy in the entire world in a 10-key adding machine. It makes sense when you find out why he got kicked out of the Hall of Fame. He used steroids. <laughs> I want to share with you nice people my life's goal. I'm also in the 60s, so you know this is a biggie. I want to be in the Hall of Fame. But the conditions are tough. You have to change the world and do something really exciting in accounting. It's not easy, but I have an easy way to do it. I want to convert all the world's 7,235,127.5 people, every one of them, to a love of accounting. The love of accounting that you're all feeling right now. Aren't you? Well, the way we convert the world to accounting is through positive media role models. For example, how about a Star Wars episode featuring Luke Number Cruncher, CPA? 
No, Darth Vader. I will protect myself with my lightsaber, Pentel pencil. I will not go to the dark side, the Empire. I will not work for the Internal Revenue Service. <laughs> <laughs> but Luke, come to the dark side. There are great benefits here, and you won't have to work very hard. No, Dad, I cannot abandon my friends CP31040 and R2W2. <laughs> Luke, not to worry, you'll make lots of new friends. After all, there are far more government workers than the entire private sector. <laughs> I remember in 1955 when Disneyland was founded, and at that moment I began to dream the dream of an accounting theme park. I really wanted to see happen someday. But it'd be, it'd be way cool. Like the Matterhorn, there'd be an exciting trip through a Swiss bank. <laughs> you could see the room where they count the money and the gold, and then you see the private entrance for the Americans who don't file U.S. returns. Those are the people that don't file their taxes. And the ride would end with a steep plunge into a slush bun. In another part of the park, there'd be a terrifying ride. Pirates of the IRS Service Center, Fresno, California. And for the kids, Mr. Toad's wild adventure to an out of control overdrawn checking account. Scary stuff. But I realize, folks, that we can't reach the tipping point for love of accounting, and I can't get into the CPA Hall of Fame in Columbus, Ohio, until we have the first great accounting artist. And I present to you tonight my nominee for that first great accounting artist, Ladies and gentlemen, after a short costume change, <laughs> Bad Abacus. Yo, babies. <laughs> Bad Abacus is in the house tonight. Yay! How many of you want to get money back on your taxes? Yeah. Let me hear you say refund, refund, refund. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. This here, this here is a remix of my first big platinum hit. I hope you liked it. I hope you bought it. It was called Debits and Credits. <laughs> this new one is going to be on iTunes tomorrow. It's called Net Worth. Thanks, babies. I'm a rapping fool. I make the women drool. I did good in school. Yo, CPAs rule. These are the backup singers. He did good in school, and he makes the women drool. Back to bad abacus. I'm not shy, I'll tell you why. I'm really fly, I reach for the sky. I got great stuff that ain't no fluff. Watch me, I'm gonna go freestyle now. I got an LLC, an LLP, an S Corp, and a C. Those are all types of corporations. <laughs> I got a Maserati, a Ferrari, a Lamborghini, and a Camry. Huh. Those are cars. I ain't no 
home in Smokyo. I got a cool home in Tokyo. I got a great portfolio. And I'm rolling in the dough, bro. I got lots of stuff, but I'm modest. Aw, oh, shucks. These are the backup singers. He's got lots of stuff, but he's so modest, ah, shucks. <laughs> Listen up, Redwood City. I say net, you say worth. Net. Worth. Net. Worth. Net. Worth. Thank you very much. <laughs>